Hi, how are you guys? Today I'm showing you how to install the Tektro E725, the four piston on the Juiced Hyper Scorpion. So first thing we need to do is to take out the old one and to take out the old uh, zip tie. And we wanna start to take it out. So after we take out all the cables, we need to take out the caliber. So now after we take out everything, we need to take out the caliber. It's already released. So now we want to go to the handle. After we take out the, the old one, we need to take out the sensor cable and pull it out from here to here. All the way down, I wanna take it out. So once we take it out from here, we need to take it from the frame. And there is a piece of rubber here. You just need to slide it down like this. And from here, you take out the front, the rear cable. So here I wanna show you how to convert, how to change, to swap the, the connector. They are both Tektro and they are both the same, the same kind of sensor, just the the connector is different. So first thing you need to do here, yeah, you need this size, number two, and release this one. You didn't need to, uh, to take it all the way out. And number seven, 
for this one to take it out. So this here is the connector. Sorry, the sensor. So this one we took it out and now we need to go to the new one to take it out. Same thing, same thing. This one, untighted this one here. So here we take it out. So they have like, you see here, something. Uh, now we need to take this one, same thing. And this way here. Once they go in, you start tightening it. So now we put it and we keep this out because we need to connect it to the bike and see how the lever work and then from there we need to adjust it and this I'll show you in the other video. And for the other cable here, for the old one, you just put it back in the old one you have. So maybe you can sell it for somebody they use the same connector. So now we need to put it back. First thing we need to do is to pass this here. this through here this one uh. so now we need to put it inside here all the way in the back and we keep it like that tell me Finish in the front. So now you put it back. Inside the frame, all the way up. And they go from here, from this hole here. We need to push it all the way up. So here we put from here. And 
here. We put it here and we fix everything back. Now, just to be sure. One second. We wanna install this one. And we start, put everything back. And we put it here. So now I install it just to tie, zip tie everything. First zip tie it here. And be Second one is here. And you need to push the cable from the front. Uh, it's done. There is another one in the bottom. And it's done. So after we finish everything, we need to connect the sensor. There is a sign here. Sign here, you need to align it here. And we need to light up the bike. So now, here, here, just for you to see, it's working and it's everything is good. Look at the light. So now, after, so just we need now after we test it. Look here, yeah, the brake. Work perfect. And now just the sensor, uh, the sensor bullets will be down. This one here, you need to. Tight it up and that's it, nothing else.
So here I just finish everything. Yeah. Everything firm. Yeah. And the rear brakes. I didn't change the the rotors because I'm waiting for the Tenos armor to change it. Here everything is okay. The clips here and this here. Everything work perfect. Thank you. Hope I explain very good on the brakes and thank you.